So about six or seven months ago, we had a really interesting announcement that we had from EG7. It covered the potential for new and exciting upgrades to Lord of the Rings Online and DCUO. And there was one part of that big investor announcement that really took the whole MMO space by surprise. And there, I mean, if you, all you had to do was just look at the look at the videos for it. There's tons of videos announcing a new MMO coming from EG7, or essentially from Daybreak, it was owned by EG7. Well, that game was in a bit of limbo. There was no official time or date. There wasn't a ton of information, and there was even some weird stuff going on with who's actually running that MMO and who's not. Well, that MMO is no longer in limbo. That MMO is now canceled. Essentially, they boiled it down to risk. Now, there was too much risk involved in developing this new MMO over the next three years. So instead, they decided as a company they would be better served by splitting up the planned investment on the Marvel MMO to multiple smaller projects. Back when the Marvel MMO was unofficially announced, what I mean, however that was, when we look at investment documents, it's not really like a, it's not a public statement per se, it's a statement to investors. If anything, we may want to take this with a grain of salt, myself included, and try not to jump the gun so fast. Now let me let me take that 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 little moment of clarity and switch it around and let's 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 run with it here because when this was announced, when the MMO was unofficially announced, it was also side by side with commitments at least to investors that there were going to be upgrades to Lord of the Rings both graphically and modernizing the MMO experience for for players. I don't know what that means. It could mean I mean, my thought with that is it probably has to do with some of the gameplay elements as well as potentially a new UI. New UI would probably suit the game well. Uh, it's not as needed, I don't think, as, say, a new UI for EverQuest, but it's still something that would modernize the game. It was also planned to be released on console, and this is for both the Lord of the Rings Online and DCUO. And these two games really seem to be the focus that we're getting from EG7 is they, they're continuously talked about often and there's no real surprise why Lord of the Rings would be the one of the ones that's being talked about so much. Lord of the Rings is going to be getting a new show on Amazon, Rings of Power. And with that new show, which they have repeatedly stated in their investment documents is going to drive players to Lord of the Rings Online, that seems like a pretty big incentive. That is marketing that they have to spend zero dollars on. Why not and why not pounce on that? So these these upgrades were announced specifically by name, Lord of the Rings and DCUO. But there is more that was announced vaguely and new game opportunities with our first party original IPs. Bruh. It's impossible to say whether this is referring to EverQuest or something else, because EverQuest has essentially what looks like taken a back seat in some of these documents. You'll recall some of my videos on it in the past. EverQuest seems to be in a pattern where there is an expansion every year, there is a progression server every year, and then we got some new and exciting things with the roadmap and with new events coming to the game, and then also, of course, the switch to the 64-bit client. And don't forget, we're getting a new UI in 2023. So we do know those things are coming from EverQuest. Daybreak has conveyed those to us, but in EG7's document, it's not very, it's not mentioned very much. It's mentioned more, I think, in these vague allusions to IP. I feel like EG7 may potentially value the IP of EverQuest over the game. That's just a feeling I'm getting. I could be completely wrong, and I kind of hope I am. Although I would love to see the IP expand. We actually got, when back in the heyday of EverQuest, we actually got to see the IP expand. We had single player RPGs like Champions of Norath. We had RTS games like Lords of EverQuest. We had books that came out. We had action figures coming out. It was it was really cool to see EverQuest expanding into all these different mediums. 
And I hope that this referring to it as an I as the IP, an original IP with a lot of value, might mean that perhaps they see it as beyond EverQuest and EverQuest 2. Perhaps they see that this world, which I think is one of the most incredible lore rich worlds that I've ever been a part of, and that is potentially because of all the nostalgia, but also because it's just a really interesting world that they could expand it. I would love to see some EverQuest books. I would love to see some single player EverQuest games. I don't know if y'all would. Y'all might be very much wanting for an EverQuest 3. And that's what generally you hear about when you go to articles and things like that about this IP usage. But until there's something concrete, I don't want to get anyone's hope up about an EverQuest 3. And since we've already got the information out there on graphic upgrades and different things like that for Lord of the Rings Online and DCUO, if they're planning anything similar for EverQuest, don't you think we would have more information on that too? So my thought here is that all this alluding to the IP could mean something like a single player game. I don't believe that an EverQuest 3 is anywhere on the horizon as much as I would like to be. Freaking EverQuest next. But I can be I can remain hopeful with you, but I'm I, I'm I'm tempering my hopes and thinking that we're probably gonna get something other than an MO for EverQuest. MOs are very expensive and they take a long time to make. And the idea of creating an EverQuest 3, I don't know that it's something that they would have the appetite for. They've just canceled the Marvel MMO. Marvel, ostensibly, would have a much larger pool of people to pull from than, say, EverQuest. As much as I love the EverQuest brand, it is not close to what Marvel is. And they didn't think Marvel's MMO was worth it. So could we see a single player EverQuest game? Could we see an RTS? What do you think? Are you, are you expecting that this referring to the IP at the end of this statement is talking about EverQuest 3, or is it something else? Or are you holding on to hope that this referring to the IP at the end of this statement, that some of this investment could be going into an EverQuest 3 or something like graphic revamp for the game? I'm still gonna go with no, but I'd like to hear your optimism. Let me know down in the comments that if, if you think that this could happen. I think the money, you're talking about about 51 million or so USD that was going to go into this Marvel MMO project over the next three years, and they're reallocating that. I don't know that that's enough to make a game unless it has already been in development for a long time. And if it's been in development for a long time, is that a game we still want to play? And more importantly, is it a game that we'd want to play over others like EverQuest itself, EverQuest 2, World of Warcraft? Final Fantasy XIV, or upcoming games like Ashes of Creation and Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the cancellation of this Marvel MMO and what it means for EG7's other projects. Are you excited about what could happen for Lord of the Rings Online or DCUO? Are you holding out hope for an EverQuest 3? I'm really curious, so let us all know. But I want to end with a little thing here. I never like to see an MMO canceled. It's not, it's, it's not good. Even if it's a project that you had zero interest in or you really didn't want to see come to fruition. Remember that these are real people working on these games. They're putting in months of their lives, years of their lives, and it's their dream. That's a lot of work that's gone and they may be facing layoffs or relocation. My name is Redbeard Flynn. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it somewhat informative. That's like three videos in like four days, y'all. That's well, granted, one of those was, was just a short commercial for entertainment purposes for Library of Pantheon's Jeopardy, but I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. So while I go take a nap, why don't you watch this video here on the longest MMOs? You know, there may be at least one of Daybreak's IPs on there. My name is Redbeard Flynn, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you again next week.